Hey there, Storm fans! Brian Cook! Today we're playing a donation deck from our good friend, James Hayek. James, thank you for submitting this donation deck. James is a member of the Combo Cabal, so every single month, not only do they get to watch videos early, they also get free donation decks, so that's what we're doing today. This deck list made top eight of the Legacy Challenge. I don't even know by who, but if I had to guess, I would say there was probably Magic Online user Martin Medmitten, because this looks just like something that they would play. So I had not seen this deck list. I don't know much about it. I've never played it before. I didn't practice it all. We're going in blind today, but I do know the concept. So there's a bunch of obscure cards in this deck list that we'll go over together. But for now, let's just cover what this deck really does. So there's this brand new card, Containment Construct, from, what is it from? Uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. I was going to say Streets of New Capenna, but it's actually Neon Dynasty. So it's an artifact creature. It's a 2-1, not a 2-2. Two -two. Whenever you discard a card, you can exile it from your graveyard instead. If you do, you may play that card this turn. So with effects like Riddlesmith right here, Riddlesmith says whenever you play an artifact spell, you get to draw a card and discard a card. But when you discard it, you exile it, and then you can cast it. So that means that Riddlesmith is essentially just whenever you cast an artifact, draw a card. Pretty good. So what other ways can we abuse draw and discard? Well, down here we have Breakthrough that says X in a blue. Draw four cards and then choose X and discard the rest. So if you pay one in a blue, you get to keep one card in your hand. If you pay zero blue, I'm sorry, if you pay zero for X, it's just draw four, discard everything. So it's pretty powerful with this containment construct. Well, we have some other powerful discard combos in our deck. Well, Lion's Eye Diamond, for example, discard your hand. Sacrifice diamond add three mana of any color. So that means that this essentially is just black lotus with a containment construct in play, which is just really, really good. Uh, we also have Echo of Aeons, which is a little bit weird because is this a May? You may exile. Okay, so that's perfect. So you don't have to exile the Echo. Uh, you can leave the Echo in the graveyard for Lion's Eye Diamond. W really nice synergy is Riddlesmith is also a discard outlet for the Echo to put it to the graveyard. So we are a storm combo deck, which means we're winning with Grape Shot. And then we have this disgusting trash piece of design here, Karn the Great Creator, a card for garbage people. I hate this card. My least favorite card in Magic. I don't actually mean that you're garbage if you play this, but I, I probably don't like you as a person, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, so yeah, I hate Karn the Great Creator. But it has this sweet artifact package in the sideboard. Tormod's Crypt, Welding Jar, Aether Spellbomb. Liquid Metal Coating. We have a secondary card in here for matchups where it's good, like the Epic Storm. Ugh. Uh, Mystic Forge. And then Mycosynth Lattice. If you have Mycosynth Lattice plus Karn, your opponents are essentially locked out of the game. They can't cast any more spells or do anything. All they can do is attack with creatures if they're already on the battlefield. That's it. So... All right, so let's start from the top and cover some of the other obscure ones. Ancient Tomb helps accelerate into the construct. That makes a lot of sense. Over here, we have Urza Saga. So the first one is, if you're completely unfamiliar with the card, let's say you're brand new to this deck, you've never looked at it, whatever. So first mode is it adds a counter to it, taps to add a mana of colorless. Second uh, counter on it says, this land gains pay two mana tap, Create an XX construct where X is the number of artifacts you control. The third chapter, you get an artifact that costs zero or one. It cannot get X. X is not zero. It literally has to get an artifact that costs actually zero or one. Well, that's why we play a bunch of weird artifacts in our deck, like Gusta's Scepter. So with Scepter, you can exile a card from your hand face down, or you can tap it and return a card that you exiled with Gusta's Scepter. And whenever you lose control of the scepter, you put all of those cards to your graveyard. This is really cute with things like Lion's Eye Diamond. I'm not sure how good this card actually is, but we're going to see today. And then we have Bomat Courier, which is another card that you can get with the Urza Saga. It creates a little bit of card advantage. It also creates this discard outlet. Um, it's cute enough. I think that we'll try it. I don't think it's bad, but I, I don't know about it, if I'm being completely honest. A few other Saga targets we have are Pithing Needle to stop activated abilities, Retrofitter Foundry, the Ninja's card. Uh, and that sort of rounds out a lot of the targets. So we do have a Singleton Wishclaw, 
which is a little bit odd. You can get it with Gamble, I guess. Uh, and Gamble's really good as well because it can just be one red demonic tutor in this deck with the containment construct. A few thoughts that I have on the main deck primarily is when you're playing Storm, you usually want some sort of protection. I would have loved to have seen three main deck defense grids in this deck, possibly over the Scepter, the Bomat Courier, and one other card. Uh, I don't know how good the Joyra is, and if you're unfamiliar with Joyra, she's a legendary creature from Dominaria that says whenever you cast a historic spell, which is an artifact spell in this deck, or enchantment, those are considered historic, you get to draw a card. It was actually in the standard Paradoxical Outcome deck at the time. Uh, so this card's kind of clunky, and I don't know how often you actually get up to four mana, but hey, uh, it could be really good and I could be wrong. But I'm definitely interested in main deck copies of Defense Grid. So we covered the artifacts in the sideboard. Portable Hole is a card that you can board in. You cannot get it with Saga. While it costs one white, it Saga literally has to get an artifact that costs zero or one generic mana. So it cannot get Portable Hole. Uh, and then we have some bounce spells and then another card that I just love to play, Mind Break Trap. I feel so sick that I'm even playing Mind Break Trap, so I'm just going to head on over to match number one. I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for some Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. Our opponent is started off by revealing a Yorian Sky Nomad. I'm going to assume that they're on death and taxes, but I don't actually know. Here we have Terminal Containment Construct into Breakthrough. So I'm definitely interested in this if they are on DNT. Okay, so we've kept our seven. The opponent is taking a mulligan. Wasteland. They're just passing. Okay. Wow, Gamble's huge. It gets Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. Play the construct. And now we gamble. Go get the diamond. Um, let's auto yield to this ability. Yeah, I don't want a dead land in my graveyard, so yes. Alright, so we're going to make three blue with this. Yes. Yes. Cast the breakthrough. Okay, so we have two blue floating. And now we discard all of these. Ooh, Riddlesmith is nice. 
I don't know if I can. I'm going to auto yes to this. Okay. Um, might as well play the bobble. I want to play the riddle smith, but maybe I should have held the bobble for that reason. That was a mistake. Uh, yeah, I definitely shouldn't have played the bobble there. All right, let's try to break through again. Breakthrough. From Mox. Yeah, I definitely just messed that up. That's disappointing. Um, we didn't hit any red mana. Play the Chrome Mox here. Oh, I don't have anything to imprint. I'm such a dummy. I was like, oh, I can play the Riddle Smith. Ah, uh, that was just dumb. Um, yeah, I messed this up. I don't know if it really matters. I can't cast the gamble. Let's go to combat. Oh, yeah. Bummer, we have to pass the turn. Okay. Let's upkeep, see what they're drawing. Swords to plowshares. That's uh, tough. And then bobble them. Knight of the Reliquary. So they're actually a Maverick. Maverick with Yorian. So they could have a Thalia here. We know that they have swords to plowshares. Windswept Teeth. Okay. They got rid of the Bowmat. Really? You were afraid of Bowmat Courier? I was expecting the Construct to be... Oh, come on. Give me a blue source. Oh. Damn. Uh, let's get in there, I guess. I'm an aggro deck. Alright, bobble you. We reveal Uro. Okay, so they have blue in their deck. I mean, it sort of makes sense with the Yorian. Verdant Catacombs. We know that they have Uro and Knight. Two other cards in hand. Mystery cards. And there's the Knight. Come on, Doc. Give me a Lion's Eye Diamond here. Auto yield to that ability. I guess even uh, a gamble would do. So we have a, a number of hits here. I guess we only have one gamble in our deck. We have one gamble, three lines at diamond. We're 33% of the way through at this point. A little bit over that technically, 39 cards. We have one draw from the bobble plus a draw step here. All right, so our bobble trigger resolved. We drew another bobble. Draw. Ah, jeez. Okay, we have to pass. And I'm just going to bobble now. Why not? The Wandering Emperor, sure. All right, bobble triggers. We drew diamond. Why can't I draw that last turn? Now we have to go another turn unscathed. So we know about Earl, we know about Wandering Emperor. They have Knight active now. So if we put a bunch of guards to their graveyard, they can go get Bajooka Bog and then exile them with a Construct uh, trigger on the stack, I believe. Okay, so they have a Caracas. And the Knight, and they're passing. Draw. We really needed this on the last turn. I think my only realistic out here is that the opponent messes up and doesn't do it with the construct trigger on the stack. So we know that they have Uro, Wandering Emperor. And then they have one unknown card. But honestly, the one unknown doesn't really matter. Like, we're dead on board to the knight. The knight sacrifices either of these lands, and then it goes to get Bajuka Bog and exiles our graveyard with the replacement of trigger on the stack. 
All right, so they didn't. Okay, so let's play Riddlesmith here. I wonder if I should leave a blue floating or a red. The red's only good if we hit the last gamble. I think I'm going to do double blue. Cast the breakthrough. I also probably didn't need to cast this yet. I probably could have done it after the breakthrough. Okay. Lotus Petal, so this is just another draw. Okay. From Mox. Uh, I don't, it doesn't look like I can always yes to that. All right, so we, now we play the Bobble. Really looking to hit something good here. Not really what I wanted. So we do have an Echo, but I'm a mana short from using it. I could play another Containment Construct or a Retrofitter here. I think it's just got to be Retrofitter. Hoping to spike. Yes. Jeez. I feel like my draws have not been very good. Oh, and I shouldn't always yes to this because I could have had this in the graveyard, but I always yes, and now that's an exile, which is a play mistake on my part. Um, let's... Oh, no, that doesn't work. Undo. I can't play lands, can I? Oh, I can play lands? I had no idea. I thought it was only spells. Wow, that's a lot better than I thought. Okay. So let's play another construct, see if we can draw something good here. Yeah, so I just missed out on an Echo of Aeons there by having it always on yes. Let's turn off auto yields. Yes, discard, that was good. Yes. Construct, because I, I mean, I just missed out on... Uh, there's their bobble. Okay, so I got a little confused for a second. I missed out on the ability to use the echo this turn, which is just like a kind of a big disappointment. That's good. Yes. Yes. Play the opal. Storm's 10. Yes. Okay, another free draw. Chromox, Storm 11, Joyra. Can't really use her, but she's there. Okay. Um, I have two available mana here. So I can play another Construct, but that's pretty much it. All right, let's play the Construct, I guess. Yes. Oh, that's such a dagger. Um, I can't cast it. No, we, we don't want to exile it. That hurts, because now if they Bajooka bog me, they get my win condition. We'd have to win using Karn. And Karn only wins with, like, Lattice Beatdown. That was rough. They're using Knight. For a Blast Zone. Alright. Yep, they're going to clear my board. Bobble them. Dark Confidant. Bobble. Uro again. I'm in a tough spot here. And they just exiled my grape shot. Ugh. So their last card in hand was the Bajooka Bog. 
because their top card that turn was the confidant so they couldn't get bog with knight that turn and because of my auto yield yes trigger on this i couldn't echo and that cost me big time that's really disappointing all right my board's been wiped they wastelanded me and they have a nine nine draw play wish claw I don't even know why this is like this is not a card we really want. I guess it's fine for like pumping up our saga tokens, but it's kind of lackluster. I think I'm gonna hold this. Cephalid Coliseum, okay. Alright, so we drew Echo, which is fantastic. On our next turn, I can go get Lion's Eye Diamond with the Wish Claw, and we can draw a fresh seven. All right, so the knight gets in, and I'm going to fall to 10. Yeah, there's no way to win with the Karn. Like, it'd be nice if there was something like uh, Aetherflux Reservoir, but there's not. That was good. All right, we only have 17 cards in our deck as well. Not a whole lot. Make three blue. Tap this, and flashback the Echo. Shrink that knight a little bit. Okay. Um, what's the play here? I think I'm going to play Ancient Tomb. Go to eight. Play the Riddlesmith. Tap for blue. Play Mox Opal. Yes. Ooh. Let's hold the echo for a little bit. Keep the new one. Tap this for a blue. Play opal. Yes. Discard land. Keep the new one. Petal. Yes. Discard Echo. Yeah, I think that's right. So I can play the Construct here, but it's going to make it a little bit messy regarding post Echo. Because I wouldn't have any mana floating. Or I can just flash it back right now and I have two available mana. I think I'm just going to flash it back. There's so few cards left in my deck. And here we just have tons of mana. Okay. Um, what's the play? Let's start off with a construct. Two mana. And they're going to make me sacrifice Riddlesmith. I still get a trigger. Yes. Discard the Ancient Tomb. Um, so I can put Karn onto the battlefield, but I can't make the Lattice. Um, let's make some blue, I guess. I'm just going to auto yes at this point. Okay, let's... Do I have an Echo left? I should check that. One, two, three. It appears that I do. So let's go get the last Echo. Wait, I removed the Karn earlier? Hold up. Do I not have a Wing Con? There's one card that's face down. Oh my, the one card that's face down is the Karn. To the Bowmat Courier. I can't win. I am win conditionless. I guess I could get Urza Saga versus their Knight. That's it. So I am actually just dead Zo. All right, I'm not going to waste any more. I've used half my clock already in ring game one. I'm just going to go to game two. Wow. 
That was insane. Okay, uh, so we definitely want Chain of Vapors. Jeez. Okay, so... I guess if I had realized that, I could have, like, needled their knight and then tried to win with Sagas. But I just didn't realize it until it was way too late. Let's take the Joyra out, I think. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we want the Joyra. I don't think that this is really a bone map matchup. We're at 62. Let's get rid of the Scepter. And this, yeah, I don't, I think that those cards are all a little cute. This seems fine. Let's submit this. So I have 12 minutes to win two games. I'm going to have to play this a little bit more quickly. And I learned my lesson about auto yielding yes, because that really bit me in that first game. All right, game two on the play. They reveal Yorian. We cannot keep that. Mulligan. We are lacking a red source for the Echo. I think you're just supposed to mulligan this as well. So we have Lion's Eye Diamond. We have Construct, but no payoff. We're on five. I think our deck can do better. Let's go to four. This is better. Keep. Bottom Karn. And then we have to bottom two more. I think it's just this. Okay. Petal. Lines at Diamond. Mox Opal. Have this for a blue. Sack the Lines at Diamond. And let's draw seven. Okay. So. Versa Saga. Auto yield to that. Riddlesmith. Bobble. Okay. Yes. Discard the Saga. Chromox. Yes. Discard Echo. Imprint Trigger. Imprint. Chromox Trigger. Yes. Uh, we have to imprint the other Echo, so. Okay. Flash back. Actually, I think I want the artifact in the deck. Draw. Beautiful. Opal. Yes. Awesome. Need to find a payoff here. Bobble. Yes. Uh, discard the Chrome Mox. We don't need that. Bobble. Gamble was great. So now we can go get another Echo. Paddle. Yes. Can't use the Breakthrough. Bobble. Yes. Uh, this stinks. I have to discard a diamond. Bobble. Or, I'm sorry, diamond. That really stinks. I didn't want to have to discard the lines I diamond there. This is the last echo? Yeah, because I imprinted the other. All right. Let's draw... I'm not going to use the bobbles this time. Um, let's see if we can spike grape shot. Yes. Okay, we're looking for that grape shot. That does it. Keep the new one. Play Wishclaw Talisman. I think we actually want to say no. Because if I draw the Grape Shot, it's not good for me. Imprint the Joyra. Sacrifice for Triple Red. Activate. Go get the Grape Shot. 
Turn one on the play. Boom. On a mulligan to four. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. It only took four minutes of our clock. We did it. Turn one, mold to four. Into lethal grape shot. Hell yeah. Okay. Um... We probably want the portable hole. I'm going to take out this needle. I don't think we need needle. Like, I don't really think that this is a saga matchup. The opponent boarded up a card. They're on 81 cards. Uh, yeah, we will be keeping this. <laughs> Keep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. We do have two Chain of Vapors in our deck, but we have no blue mana. Okay. Draw. Let's play this Bobble. Bobble. Target them. They have three cards. Sudden Edict. Target you again. Plague Engineer. Okay, so we know two of their three. Pass the turn. Draw two. All right, I'm going to hit that F6 key, try to save some time here. We're at eight minutes. And they did not draw a land. Ding dong! One has four cards, we know two of them. All right, let's attempt to Chain of Vapor. They do not copy. Let's, we'll play out the Chrome Mox. All right, sacrifice this for blue and this for red. We'll take two Flashback Echo. It's from Eat. Oh, no, they have Fluster. I was worried about this. Oh, I even thought about passing the turn. Okay, uh, not the end of the world. I cannot pay. I don't have enough mana, even though uh, I have five floating. I can go up to eight, but that's not good enough. Uh, target them with Bobble. They have a library. Okay. We're not out of this. I could easily draw a Gamble or another Echo. We'll be fine. It's actually part of the reason I didn't sacrifice the third Lion's Eye Diamond. And I was like, if they have Fluster, I don't want to get completely blown out. And there we go. We have access to another Echo. So we know three of their five. Green Mana. Elvish Reclaimer. Interesting that they didn't play the... Sylvan there. I wonder if they have another Fluster. This feels like another Fluster. If I pass, they have Reclaimer into uh, Bazooka Bog, so I just have to do this now. Okay, it resolved. Um, it stinks because I'm one mana short of being able to put some of this stuff into play. I think we just pass. There's a pause here. I feel a force of vigor coming. Six minutes on clock. All right, and they did not cast it if they had it. So we've used two Echo of Aeons, and we have two Bobbles in Exile as well. Three mana, Plague Engineer, okay. Do they name Human or do they name Construct? They named human, so Riddlesmith is shut off. We're at six minutes. It's her time to shine. Thirteen. Tap this for a blue. Bobble. Let's play Opal. Come on, Doc. Let's go. Diamond. Um, I don't think I need to hold priority or anything. 
All right, we hit Echo, which was nice. Okay, so we have to read which one's Echo. Oh, it's not going to tell me? That's a pain. All right, this one's Echo. We're going to say no. All right, so let's add a bunch of mana. Flashback. All right, so we have Karn. Play the diamond. Is Karn something I'm interested in here? I, I don't think it is. But I can always play it later. So let's just play the breakthrough. Um, hold priority. Cast the breakthrough. Sacrifice these. Four minutes. I have to find Grape Shot. Okay, the Chain of Vapor is good. Actually, the Chain of Vapor means that I can't... They could bounce my Construct. I don't know how that works. Uh, do I have a choice, though? All right, let's play Tomb. Play the Karn. So I don't have to worry about the Chain of Vapor thing if I just get the Spell Bomb out of the side. Yes, three minutes. Get the Spell Bomb. Cast Spell Bomb. Bounce the Plague Engineer. All right, play Riddlesmith. Now we just have to try to go as fast as we can. Bobble. We have 33 cards. We have to find the Grape Shot. Okay, that's not bad. So we can tutor up the Grape Shot, but we have to find mana now. Three minutes. Um, okay. So I can sack this. I can chin a vapor my opal. Bounce chromox. Bounce this. Bounce here. Okay, come on, Doc. Two minutes. Yes. Bobble. Yes. No. Right now, I think I'm just one mana short. Did that do it? All right, so we'll cast Gamble for Lion's Eye Diamond. I think that does it. I just have to be able to click fast enough. Okay, almost timed out here. Gamble, grab the grape shot. Yes. And then grape shot you. A minute 45 to click. We did it. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was exciting. Wow. That was a sweet one. I hope you enjoyed it. If they're all this good, I would love it. But I'd prefer to win a little bit more quickly in the next few. All right. I'll see you in the second match. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match two, we're on the play. Uh, we have a turn one Riddlesmith. I don't think we're actually allowed to keep this. The fact that these aren't, one of these isn't a land, I think it's just too bad. We have turn one Construct. I think this is probably fine. It's a little bit dicey, but we're going to make it work. All right, construct. 
Pass the turn. No clue what they're playing. Another Ancient Tomb player. Chalice of the Void. Yep. That hurts. Maybe we can be a beatdown deck this game. Uh, I think I probably want this in play. Get in there. I can always play the breakthrough for two next turn as well. You don't have to play it at one. Okay. You have a Magus. They're at 14. Draw. Let's get in there. I'm an aggro deck. Can't tell me otherwise. Play the bobble. Tap this for a blue. We're gonna hold priority. Uh, I guess we're not holding priority. We're just casting it. Breakthrough X equals one. So two converted mana cost gets through the chalice. Let's see what we have. So there's one card I get to keep. Okay. Um, just hit the yes key. Three is yes, four is no. Play the mountain. Play a new opal. Sacrifice this for blue. Play breakthrough x is equal to one. Probably didn't need to tap that way. Uh, we'll discard these three. All right, play the diamond. Bobble. Might as well play this opal. Let's try to sneak through a bow mat. Ah. Bomber, I can't believe the Magic Online auto trigger gave it to them. Look at a random card. Legion War Boss. Target them. Monkey. All right, pass the turn. Need some action. Retrofitter is not it. They have land three. You are no fun, opponent. They think they're the beatdown? I am the beatdown. Draw. This, unfortunately, is a mountain. Get in there. All right, Lotus Petal. Pass. Ideally, we get our opponent in a situation where they're forced to block with the Magus, and then I play Urza Saga. Four mana. Is this a fiery confluence? This is an okay. It was the Shatter Skull smashing. I was going to say this must be an older build if it's fiery confluence in the main. But now we're definitely behind. Draw. Um. Oh, I forgot with the Magus. I just wasted a land drop. That's a bummer. All right, let's draw a fresh hand. Storm is one. That was not that good. Throw Mox. Probably imprint this Gamble. Play Bobble. Okay. I am definitely backpedaling at this point. The Exiled Simeon Spirit Guide. If they're going to leave Mountain untapped, they should just keep the Spear Guide in hand. You have successfully cast Chalice on zero while removing a Simian Spirit Guide. Okay. Draw. Um, 
I think we break through. So we are discarding these. Okay. I don't know how good this actually is, but we'll see. They play an ancient tomb at 10. Could be pretty close to dead here. War boss. So we'll take three. They have another spirit guide. Gravel master. Yeah, I, I don't feel good about this anymore. We don't have anything in our cyborg to stop creatures with the Karn. We are in fact dead. Draw. Not gonna do. All right, game two. It's a bummer because that means that if we are lucky enough to win game number two, we'll be on the draw for the third game against Moon Stompy. So we definitely want the portable holes and the chain of vapor. This Hercules recall. I don't think mind breaks a card we actually want. Get rid of this retrofitter. That card's so bad. We don't really need needle here. Get rid of the Gustus Scepter. All right, let's do this. So you could, in theory, board and mind break on the draw because they go like, I don't know, Ancient Tomb, Chalice of the Void, Chalice of the Void, something else. But like, that's not really that good against a deck like Moonstone because that means that they've already done things that are meaningful. Sure. Really wish we had a different artifact other than Opal here, so that way we could have Metalcraft. Okay. Blue. Actually, should I play this off for Storm? Sacrifice this for blue, and we will echo. Force Mulligan the opponent, and we have a blue floating. Starting the game with four Storm and two permanents. Would you look at that? Okay. Bromox. We're going to imprint the breakthrough here. Tap this for a blue. Opal. Keep the new one. Diamond. Let's spin the wheel again. Storm nine. Okay, now we're, uh, you know, doing the thing. So if I play the priest, or the containment construct, um, that's fine. Okay, I know what we're going to do. All right, auto yield here. Yes. We don't need this. Okay, play this. Yes. Discard the bobble. Uh, yield. Yes. And we're going to imprint Riddlesmith. Paddle. Yes. Discard the Chromox. Yes. Play the bobble. Yes, we definitely don't want Karn. Not at this point. All right, so now we chain a vapor opal. Sacrifice this. Target. I don't think we actually want to do the curl mocks. I'll just target bobble. Play Opal. Really hoping to find Lion's Eye Diamond or Grape Shot here. All right, we can cast the gamble off that later. Yes. Bobble. Okay, that actually wins the game. Okay, because we can float mana, play another Opal, and then gamble for the Grape Shot. So we have another turn one. 
Lion's Eye Diamond. Yes. Okay. Triple Red. Gamble. Go get the grape shot. Yes. And shots. Are you? Term 21. Going to game number three now. We're on the draw, so it's going to be tougher. Like I said, I don't think you actually want my break trap. It doesn't make sense to me. There's no, there's not going to be a meaningful game where their third card is what we care about. Okay. Um, I got really excited because we had the Chain of Vapor for Leyline, but we can't actually cast it. We don't have any blue mana for the Riddlesmiths either. I think we were forced to mulligan. This can go get a Turmon Echo, so I think we keep this in bottom the Saga. All right, no Ley Line of the Void is a good start. They kept seven, so we're probably experiencing a Chalice of the Void. Yep. Double Chalice of the Void, huh? Okay. So we have one Hercules Recall is an out in our deck. That's it. Can't cast anything. Have to pass. Not looking good for the home team. This was the problem with losing game number one. I mentioned it once we lost the game. I played against this deck so many times. If you're the Storm deck, you can often find ways to win number game win game number three on the play. But on the draw, you've likely lost the match. We're definitely like there's no chance we're going to win this because in order to win, I'd have to draw our basic island followed by Hercules Recall. It's just not a reasonable ask. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, so we are now one and one. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for Grape Shot, everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, 4 treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze Tokens with the Power Toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing Modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel Tokens and 20 Goblin Tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Keep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have no clue what we're facing, but we have Lotus Petal for Lion's Eye Diamond, and we have an Echo, so we're going to try this out. Ancient Tomb would be an amazing draw due to the Containment Construct. Let's see what the opponent has in store for us. Lotus Petal. Brainstorm. Likely a storm deck, but we'll see. Grief. What are you doing? Is this blue black reanimator? What did they exile? Yeah, it's blue black reanimator. Legacy we are legacy leagues. There we go. I can talk. Are a little bit wild at the moment because the. Uh, the all access token is available, so the leagues are just wild. They're the Wild West. They're everyone that doesn't typically play Legacy playing their fun decks. So uh, you are going to get some decks that might not be that popular at the moment. They've decided on Lotus Petal. Um, so, yeah, they decided on Petal. They play their own Petal. Dark Ritual. Two cards left. 
Enemy dead on the grief. They have one card. Alright, so they're going for our mana. They have one card in hand and they have a 2 2 in play. Draw. Scepter. I'm just going to activate this now. Let's put the construct under it. Pass. Okay, we're at 18. Draw. Hmm. I don't think I actually want to put Grape Shot under there. Maybe I do. I'm just going to pass for now. Point with three cards now. Ouch. Draw. Okay, let's see what one of them is. Bobble you. Unmask. All right, draw Bobble. So they're at four cards in hand now. They're not casting the Unmask. That's interesting. Lotus Petal. Attempt a gamble. I say attempt because we know that they have blue, which could mean Force of Will. Play Lions of Diamond. All right, let's attempt to uh, spin the wheel here. The wheel resolves. And that was very good for me. All right, so we're going to play Petal first because I want to get this Riddlesmith on the battlefield. Riddle me this. Lion's Eye Diamond. Yes. Oh, boy. Diamond again. Yes. For the Chrome Mox. Opal. Yes. And I'm aware that we have a construct over there. But I think I still want to sequence this way. Another Riddlesmith. Okay, so I think I just want to flash back. I don't want to play the construct first because I miss out on a loot ne uh, post echo. Flash back the echo. All right, so now I put the uh, containment construct back to my hand. Cast it. Yes. Skirt Saga. All right. I think we've got this one. Yes. This is a powerful combo. Bobble. Okay. Lotus Petal. It's from 16. Chrome Mox. All right. Just keep looting. And again. All right. Chrome Mox resolves. Nothing to do here. And another Chrome Mox. Okay. We'll add triple blue. We'll cast a breakthrough. I guess these are cards. Yes. Cast another breakthrough. All right, the great uh, the gamble should do it here. All right, and we have Lethal Storm. Tap for red, cast the gamble. Grab the grape shot. Yes. And woot woot. Well, look at me now. We could get revenge on the grief if we wanted, but not going to do that. Game number one goes to us. Yes. All right, so probably want the surgical. I do think that mind break is reasonable here. Chain of vapor seems okay. 
Uh, once again, let's get rid of this package. I do like Needle because you can name Gristlebrand if you naturally draw it. Joyra is probably a little too expensive for this matchup. I don't think we actually want Karn here, so we're going to board out Karn. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside, taking that piece of trash out of my deck. Absolutely garbage. Uh, it's technically a Hand of Magic the Gathering cards. You can't deny that. Sure. I think you just bottom a bobble here. Keep bobble on the bottom. Verdant Lotus Petal activates the fetch land for a bayou. All right, so we can mind break. They have one card in hand. I think we want to mind break this. Because we know that their last card is a reanimate, and it means that every reanimate for the rest of the game becomes incredibly scary. Draw. Bryant Cook, Mindberg Trap Gamer. Alright, let's gamble. Grab Echo. I don't know if this is actually a great play, but I'm going to cast Breakthrough for one. Rewarded. All right. So our opponent has one card. I don't feel the pressure to, and it's likely a reanimate. So I don't feel the pressure to try to win right now. I'm going to pass the turn and untap with that extra mana. Draw. We can bobble them. Ooh, they're playing that combo in their deck. They have Chain of Smog combo. I might have made a video on this. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing this deck, there is a video. You can just type in like Weatherbloom Reanimator or something like that. Um, I think I'm going to pass. We drew Petal. So they have Chain of Smog and one unknown card. Draw. Okay, I feel safer now casting the Echo. Blue. And let's flash it back. Mindbreak Trap Gamer, Brian Cook, that's what they say about me. I just love Mindbreak Traps. And if you're a member of this channel, there is a Mindbreak Trap emote. So click it down below in the comments section. Spam that exclamation point MBT. And if you're not a member, maybe you should click the join button, become a member, and then click that button to uh, spam the mind break emote. Okay, let's, whoops, want to use that for red. Gamble. Let's grab another echo. And... I don't know. I'm going to waste a bunch of mana here. Let's do it. Six mana floating. All right. Riddle Smith is exactly what the doctor ordered. They're fetching in response. Okay. For Brainstorm. You just increased my storm count. Riddle me this. Riddle me that. Lotus Petal. Yes, discard Ancient Tomb. Yes, discard Chrome Mox. Petal Resolves. How about this Petal? Yes. Chrome Mox. Yes. Bobble. Play the Construct, yes, Tomb, yes, Bobble, Lines of Diamond, yes, okay, click that, next trigger, 
Diamond. And Breakthrough. Okay. We're definitely getting to do the thing this game, that's for sure. All right, let's cast this. But it'll let me cast the diamond. Yes. I'm just going to auto always guess this. If I hit uh, an echo, I'm fine with that. I just don't feel like clicking through everything. Play the bobble. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's play another riddle. And then I can chain of vapor my opal. Bounce on the bobble. Bounce on pedal. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Bobble. We can probably draw our entire deck this turn just off artifacts. Okay. There it is, the grape shot. Except for red. Grape shot targeting you. Hiya. This deck's certainly fun. Really, really click intensive, but it's fun. And that's how we do. Two and one, two left to go. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Fourth match, we're on the play. Uh, I don't know. I think we're supposed to mulligan this. We can play turn one Brittlesmith, or we can break through and just discard our hand. Seems pretty risky. I think we should just leverage the London mulligan. I don't love this hand. I'm going to mulligan again. This is better. So, I think we bought them these two. So, let's do that. All right, we're going to play turn one construct. And I feel like it's pretty free to play out the diamond. Pass the turn. So, I was thinking about there sacking the diamond immediately, playing the riddlesmith, and then triggering lotus petal. But I feel like that's like pretty risky. I, I'm not sure. Yikes. That is scary. Draw. Play the riddle smith. I'm almost dead already. Uh, Chrome Mox trigger. Something good, please. Yes. That is not something good. Um... I mean, it gives me another trigger. Wonder what my best draw is here. Probably like an echo. That's really good. Very, very good. Okay. They could have wasted me. They decided to disrespect me instead. Now here we are. Okay, so now let's play this breakthrough. Done. So this is just a draw four for one blue mana. There's our grape shot. Uh, Storm Count's a little bit low for that at the moment, though. One nice thing is I can play another riddle here. And that will make the bobble a draw two. So let's play that. 
My fear is if I don't win this turn, that Grape Shot's going to be exiled against this Mirage. So, pretty risky. We need a couple good hits off this. Yes. No, we want to leave that there. All right, we need mana off this. Yes. I can't cast that. Ugh. And our Grape Shot's going to be exiled. Oh, no. Oh, no, I can, pl oh, I, I can play uh, land for turn. Okay, we're not dead yet. Flash this back. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. All right. Lotus Petal. I think we've probably got this now. Yes. Discard. Yes. Yes again. Okay. Opal. Yes. Yes again. At this point, we just have to keep on clicking until our opponent's dead. Like, we've got it wrapped up. We just have to cross the finish line. Okay. Cast Lotus Petal. All right. At this, I mean, I'm just clicking randomly. I don't know. All right. Lines of Diamond. Looking pretty good. All right. Diamond Resolves. Bobble. All right. So our hand is officially empty. Let's break through. Okay. Break through again. Why not? Down to 20 cards in deck. That's more mana. I'm just trying to cast spells that won't trigger Riddlesmith. So that way I don't have to click through it again. Okay. Yes. This room's 18. Um, so I can play the fourth Riddler, the Riddle Smith, and then Grape Shot is from 20. I like you. Would you look at that? Okay. That's game number one over eight mulch. Definitely interested in the chains. I wonder if you bring the spell bomb into the main deck and then just take out the Karn. Might as well bring in the Hercules. Portable hole. I don't even hate Jar here. I think Jar is pretty reasonable. Same thing with the Tormod's Crypt. I think Tormod or the defense grid's defensive against their pyroblast effects. A lot of cards we want to bring in. Retrofitter Foundry is getting out of our deck. That card stinks. Bowmat Courier, same. Uh, we're at 65 cards right now. Let's switch this back. I don't know why it switched from card view to pile. I, I prefer pile. Okay, this scepter can go. And now we're at 64. Hmm. I have a really crazy thought, and it's to board out Urza's Saga. <laughs> Just be like the best possible combo deck we can. I think I'm going to try it. Let's try boarding out. I know it's crazy. We're boarding down to six lands. I'm aware. But I, I just don't think that this is a Saga matchup. So instead of having this card in our deck that stinks, I'm just going to have all bangers. And look at this. We have an insane turn one. Keep. Field of the Dead. Draw. All right. Containment Construct. Lions of Diamond. Opal. Let's break through. 
done. Now we discard. Okay. No, and then the yes. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice this for triple blue. Let's play one of these Riddlers. Lotus Petal. Oh, that's not a Petal, that's a Bobble. Okay. Yes. This is a Petal. Okay. We can use Gamble to go get um, a Diamond to flashback the Echo. Okay. Sacrifice this for red. Cast the gamble. Lion's Eye Diamond. Play the diamond. Okay. Add three blue. Flashback. Echo of Aeons floating a blue. Let's play this Chrome Mox. Oh no, uh, that was a mistake on my part. I was thinking that I was imprinting that. I was like, yeah, because then I can play the the Riddle Smith. But I guess I can imprint this one and then imprint cast one of these. It's fine. All right, so now we get two draws. Okay. Lotus Petal. Honestly, I feel like we have this one won already. <coughs> Excuse me. We just have to finish going through it. All right, I'm going to play out a Welding Jar. Get rid of the Chain of Vapor. We don't need that. Storm is 16. Diamond. This deck is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay. Bobble. And there's our grape shot. Perfect. Head triple red. It's going to get exiled to the contain or containment construct. We need one more storm, so let's cast gamble. We will get Defense Grid. And then play the Defense Grid. And what this does is it allows us to beat Mind Break Trap. We did it. We're 3-1. One round left to go. This deck's certainly something. I think that there's a couple cards in the main deck I don't agree with, but there's definitely something here. Let's see if we can finish strong. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final round. We're on the play. I'd love to win this, finish with a 4-1 record. That'd be sweet. Okay, so this is a little dicey. If I imprint the grape shot, I I have to win with Karn. Um I think we're gonna go for it. I think that's the plan here. I mean, I think the plan is to turn one Karn, lattice lock them out of the game. I don't know what they're playing, but that's what we're doing. Point out with the mulligan to six. All right. Chrome Mox. And imprint this Grape Shot. Sorry, uh, play the Diamond. We don't want to gamble with the Diamond in hand. Alright. Go get the Echo. Okay, and flashback. Two mana floating. Um, trying to think through this. So, so if I break through, I'm one mana short of flashing back the echo. 
So I think I'm supposed to break through for x equals 1. All right, let's see if I can draw lines at diamond. No such luck. Um, that stinks. Can we keep the bobble? Could keep the Joyra, but we don't have mana to do Echo and fl play her next turn. But I guess I am going to draw a bunch of cards off Bobbles. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to keep a Bobble. I have to click everything else. The Joyra is tempting. I feel like it's a little bit win more, but let's play the Bobble. All right, upkeep, target you. They're on elves, okay. One swept teeth. You can have a once upon a time. They picked up Aquarian Ranger. Okay, I'm gonna just use the bobbles. Heritage Druid, Bobble You. Okay. You have a Maya, that's wonderful. So I will draw four cards to start off the turn. Three off Bobbles plus my draw stop. Oh, hello. That was really good. Okay. I can't believe this, but I have to win the game with Karn. This is disgusting. Okay. Flashback Echo. Wow, we actually get to play Joy right here? That's insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, Riddlesmith. Uh, let's auto yield to her. Auto yield. Yes. Riddlesmith. Auto yield there. Yes. Okay. This is sweet. There's the Karn. Um, yes, 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 yes. All right, three blue. Actually, hold on. Three red. Let's play Karn. Then we'll gamble. Go get a diamond. Yes. Play the diamond. Yes. Okay. Bobble. All right. Yes. Lotus petal. We do not want to exile that. Make three more. Yeah, so we're one mana short of um, what well, we were until I played the Tomb of the Lattice. So we're going to go get Lattice right now. Okay. And I guess our other win condition would just be Urza Saga, but I can't uh, play one of those this turn. Um, think we just pass. Like, I don't need to burn any more clock. We've got this game won. I just have to finish winning. Just took a screenshot of that, you know, for the archives. <laughs> and the opponent concedes. Okay. I know that we won with Karn. I really don't think that this is a Karn matchup. Why is it trying to select everything? Look at this. See if it stops if I switch it to Pile View. Oh, I do want both of those, so that's okay. I do want the chain. I think we're going to take out... Oh, come on. 
Let's try switching this to pile view. Why are you like this? There we go. Okay, so we're down to 62. Uh, we don't want the Bomat Courier. Come on. Let's try boarding in the gambles again. I do want the portable hole. Okay, is it working now? This has been very frustrating. So now we're at 59. We could bring in the bomb. Okay, we're at 62. We literally just want to select the Tormod's Crypt. Come on. This is ridiculous. I don't know what to do here. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to submit a 62 card deck. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm going to have to submit 62. I don't know what to do here. This is so frustrating. 62 card deck. Ridiculous. We god darn ridiculous. Um, sure. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty frustrated. This hand's probably a mulligan. Like Turn One Saga does eventually get Lion's Eye Diamond. We have Chain of Vapor for an oof, but we can't really cast that if they have an oof. I don't know. They have Thoughtseize. If I lose this match, I'm probably going to file for reimbursement. Like that's frustrating. And they take the containment construct. Draw. Oh, hello. Okay. Lions of Diamond. Blue. Let's flashback Echo. Storm Four. And they're using Endurance. That doesn't really matter. I guess it gets a green card out of their deck to increase their odds of drawing something good. Okay. So we can play Riddlesmith here. We have some stuff to do. Pedal. Yes. I think we discard one of these. Opal. Yes. Get rid of a Chrome Mox. And now we can play the Construct. Yes. Another Chrome Mox down. Opal. All right. Yes. That was a good one. Auto Yield. Yes. And our opponent has conceded the game. Oh my. We got the 4 1. How about that with a 62 card deck? Wow, that was sweet. Okay, so my thoughts. And I mean, I feel like I made it pretty clear throughout the video. I would not be playing Bowmat Courier, Retrofitter Foundry. Uh, these cards are way too cute. I would also cut the Scepter. If you got three of those for three main deck defense grids, this deck becomes really dangerous. Uh, the one of Needle seems fine. I don't hate that. Um, you could also play something like a, what is it called? Uh, Soul Guide Lantern as, as a Saga target, because at least that can trip it on its own too. Uh, I don't hate those things, but I'm not in love with those three slots. If those were defense grids, I would have loved it. Um, I don't have a whole lot of opinions on the sideboard. A lot of the space was for Karn, and obviously I hate that card, but hey, it did win a game. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring.
don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.